Add it to win. A barrio. A jet breakfast. Ever jet breakfast. A jet breakfast. Tell them about me, get breakfast. Mm. Breakfast alone. I took a lot of gym on. I need gym on I hope good road anybody. I ain't rotate a long turn. Baba na fi ba ye rotate. I ain't rotate a long turn kuduro. I ain't de rotate. I hear you could do anybody. Go on, you go on, Nigeria. The world continue to rotate. And we will demand the ruban on the middle of the day. Or you look when you demand the ruban. The battery will look where I am, my jack, or for you, anybody then. We went and answered where, or for you, the body. But I will cut a callop boy, you know, boy. A condomer shall last you, the mechanic. Only a local law for any problem. Then we go to a lag by anything. It had done to buy a timid. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lawale, Calafia Lewa, a quarter of is you not do? Calafia Loa. Okay, we're going to go to the water bottle. We're going to learn the code. We need a bit of code. I'm going to tell you the code. I'm going to go So the bamboo glass is milori, like the window have it. Sure. Moki bobo ina kosi on, akwa la jima. Is that no rodin? That I feel ewa. Moki bobo ina kosi kwe. I do not like that. In town fair, one is super big. So by your own lotion, you are more. One more, you take part of it as you are for your banish. I have a question about Rolls Royce, come and cut it. There's no deal with the moon. So by everybody, ma, everybody, ma, get the message in. Would you look better in it? 
awa la de ni si yagbe good morning staola ki bu gba won sale yoruba parapata Nigeria but the daily problem ni but the world is not waiting for Nigeria Aye, test why you do your money. A lie. Aye, test why you do your money. So, if you talk about it, yeah, move in Nigeria. Nigeria, the move. Aye, test why you do it. A lie. You can I am an anti Come out of work, Jack, I am an anti pressure, Everybody, them up, but Nigeria, they should show. But it was for you. We live in denial. So everybody is assuming that one day, one day, be a lingua to bat in law to the Kudan. If you are in Nigeria, my she said, You are wasting your time. Or yet it is a bully, no, yeah. Or lie. To buy a zoo for Nigeria and Boba, she Oh, she shed it. Then she shed it late. Seven seven is the number. But the code is just a weather. I'm not more than on it. I'm all the children. I'm not talking about the children. Titi told me my feet day ever. Watch my mouth for me. Nigeria go walk. Nigeria go walk. I don't know if I go Nigeria go walk. I don't go believe in Nigeria. If it's a problem, what is? Imagine somebody telling you, "I need to pay lorry to you. I need to buy me a breakfast." In it. I borrow my uniform. I need to Nigeria go walk. I need to learn about my country. And you couldn't hear go walk. And you're not pulling up on your pussy. And it's only motor accident. And you told you'll be more to live to live to live to suspect you. I hope you down on it. And you couldn't hear my walk, no, the one. And you couldn't hear my walk, my walk, my walk. And when you go, I roll it. Lati, I get sixty. Oh, I walk. Oh, you my walk. family walk on. Oh, yeah, but I guess it. Well, I so that was our winning jam. I walk. Ron, how are you? Mm, just there. So they don't come to the front why? because the, my camera is on that's why okay did you sleep well good boy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nigeria go walk and look when nigeria go walk in lava that's the 1999 and yeah my walk you go walk Am I worried? Your money, Nigeria. I make every opportunity for you. I might make sure we are you my better. You tell the Lord. Fabulous, yeah. Any two by the years, I'm cruel, no, Nigeria. Eh, what shop a lot of no bombing, Mr. Lawali Alabi. One in the bed, yeah. But I should celebrate that. Yeah, and you quick media fans. 
e ba mi ko happy birthday fun mr lawale regular wa ni i won i won i won se ku se ye i go about birthday mo oni ko iku london wa la le won di bo mo ri comment bo kan lori awon wa le ale oni kolo won ko iki Oh hey Biafra, I salute you, Dari. Eh? I didn't want Simon Epa this morning. Eh? Simon Epa don't go kill somebody. Oh, come join me. Simon Epa they dance. I think it was the video he did, maybe the day before yesterday. I was on the street up under this morning. I didn't see where the way Simon Epa they dance. Hmm? We don't give them woto woto. The things they with a joke. Hola, me day I live. Happy bed. Uh, good morning. All here be afar. They say Nigeria go work. Nigeria go work. Mama, kiss sister me. Fill me world. Ten ten. Coffee leg. You know. I hope everybody is doing very well. I think it was summer time. Somebody died yesterday in London. Very close to Wimbledon. A very sad news. That is life. And this life is not waiting for anybody. Just don't think that you own this world. Nobody owns this world. America do not own this world. UK do not own this. Nobody owns anybody. They can be superpower. They can have a good economy. And that is why they don't want Biafra to go and the Yoruba people. Because they want us to remain you know puppet licking their ass staying abroad washing the uh, toilet cleaning and if you get if you upgrade yourself you do small small business send them to nigeria another person goes chop them you know voila simon epa they give them what i hear uh rufai Hosseini on a rice television say simon you stay you stay in finland you are causing trouble. I see that. I see. Say there will be trouble for Nigeria before. Rufai was saying, and I like that guy. Say Simon, how can you stay in uh, in uh, in Finland and you are creating trouble in Nigeria? I see. Say Nigeria never get trouble. The trouble with Nigeria get, even if Jesus Christ come back, you know, go feel resolver. Even if Allah Allah come, you know, go feel resolver. Mm -hmm. So. The thing as Simon Epa, they use gun, they kill everybody for Southeast. They don't talk about Andy Uba. I be who find you by there on Jenny. To Lori Brook, come on, you go to the to the support and one in the car. Simon Epa, the number one now. Mm -hmm. Autopilot. I know say some people don't like her. They look at me like this. Say me, me, me I strangle this guy. I lie. Before you strangle me, me I go strangle you. Don't worry. Simon Epa go to deal with you now. Make a deal with our Yoruba people. So, now in the battle, sorry, you know, I do stupid around. I go to their page. Now, I see Wale Ali and the Jile. They the verse, say, Koiki. Koiki, they drag their mama on social media, anyhow. <laughs> Mr. Shito Mahomi, good morning. I said, Koiki, they drag their mama anyhow on social media. Koiki, they drag their mama. Uh -huh, uh -huh, look this one. Maybe yeah. Police the kill dog. Police the kill dog. Yeah, boy, yeah. Police the kill dog. Police the kill dog. Now why did they protest? <laughs> they are protesting because police they kill dog. Eh? Yeah. Wow. Would you please? Interesting. 
Police kill dog. Enough is enough. Police is killing dog. <laughs> I watched this video on Twitter and laugh. The guy is saying they say in the two now dog lover. <laughs> No, 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 police cannot kill dog for, for London. People they protest, say police they kill dog. I <laughs> heard the guys have a dog. <laughs> now, now, that, now that part make me laugh. When they ask the guy, say, Are you a dog lover? The guy, say, where do you want to make the guy talk? The guy say, Yes, I'm a dog lover. <laughs> oh, you won't go kill people for this place. Uh -huh. Now I can go live. I think this other phone don't let me go live on TikTok. Eh, my people, they wait for me on TikTok. Make her enjoy my TikTok. So let me let me put it like that. Eh? Me too, I don't need to do TikTok. Oh yeah, allow. Allow TikTok to access your nearby. Wait, why you want to access my nearby? Just go live. All this uh, technology. Oh, yeah, go live. Uh -huh. We don't do live everywhere now. Eh? Simon is the god of the Biafra. But they don't like her now. The Nigerian government, they is shit. Simon don't lock. He don't lock Southeast. <laughs> Simon don't lock Southeast. Happy birthday, then can see Mr. Lawali Alabi. Mm -hmm. As Simon, they give them Woto Woto. They say, I mean, they give them Woto Woto this side. Now, here I can't read some of their comments. Our Yoruba people, we can speak some uh, broken English. Then, Omo Banta, Tony Jebude, Fidipote. Eh, I go with Simon Adebisi. I want to look at. I want to see you. Hmm. This cereal gets different thing inside. I think I need to top it up a little bit. Simon, they give them wahala. Then they run up and down. Then they run up and down. And all the way. All the way to see this. No matter what you say. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do. Now God they fight for us. Ibu people. Biafra people. Yoruba people. Now our God. They fight for us. Because if not. Therefore don't kill us. Therefore don't attack us spiritually. Then they try. Then they try all the time. But it's just that it's not coming through. Hmm? I like this cereal. I know advertise for them. They don't. I know be the ambassador. They don't give me endorsement. Yeah. Make all this one. They buy them with my own money. It's called crunchy nut granola. You get a lot of different vitamin. My mother is from Ogun State. Ah, no, my mother is your sister from Ogun State. Okay, so you are half Yoruba, Igbo. Then interesting. Now God will punish everybody when they run after us. Mommy Miesta, good morning. Shout out to everyone where they join us on uh, TikTok. TikToker. This is Koiki Media. I like this one because it gets different fiber inside. Give me the kind of energy we are need. <laughs> the same energy we Simon Ekwa they use, Namito are they use. <laughs> Simon Ekwa don't lock out his. They're scared. Every Monday, they, they lose billions of naira. And some people say, hey, Simon, Simon is, is creating havoc. No, it's not Simon that is killing people. It's Andy Uba. Mm. Well, like, the sun energy, I can feel it from the window on the other side there. We're now in summer. Well, yesterday, a girl died. And that's why they tell people, say, don't be scared of death. Just let us do the needful before we go because we're all going to die anyway. Ah, I need to charge this laptop. And I know they're inside Nigeria. Mm. Ah, I need to go and bring my extension upstairs. Make I give some, make I give them a music. 
Make I play this one. I don't know whether they go let them stay. Nigeria, Jaga. I love to pray. Anyway, if I put this one and they remove them later, it does not matter. Thank you, chef. I normally love to listen to Lucky Dube. If they remove them later, at least maybe we just enjoy them now. Eh? Maybe sometime you after you two go say that music, we go remove them. When I'm on my own, this is what I listen to. Making out they enjoy I'm coming. Oh yeah. Making out they listen. Ah, what thing happened again? Something don't touch it. All these things. Too very sensitive. Technology. And we go use kill Nigerian government. Just a quick brief one. Oh yeah, give me another one. Give me another one. There's another one I love. Nobody wants you to be free. Nobody likes to give anybody freedom. You continue to ask and ask. Some people say, eh, say, when is this freedom going to come, Omugo? You think say, they could just give you like that? No. I love this one as well. Mama. Too much advice. Mm. No, I love advice to do. Now, now, the way that they pay people their money on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Nigeria and a bad father. Chinedu innocent or he be after. Nigeria and a bad father for us. Lord of mercy. Oh no. Hey. Mother, 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 mother. So many mama don't die inside Nigeria trying to survive. It is only now we realize that it is not the fault of our parent. Because Nigeria didn't provide for our parent. Our parent, they were sending, they sell small, small stuff, send us to school, try their best. But now we now understood that it was Nigeria that destroyed our parent. And some parents that were able to make it, their children make it as well. Mama, Mama. Good morning, my brother, Chinedu. I the telephone. You don't see me. Mama, mama, mama. All our parents are the best, but Nigeria was like this. Our parents were the best, but Nigeria was, oh yeah, oh yeah, Nigeria was, hey, hey, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, jaga, jaga, skata, skata, sofa, sofa, musa, musa. Jaga jaga, skata skata, sofa sofa, busa busa, jaga jaga Nigeria, eh? Fulani came to your house, straight to your bedside. As a key for Sean Williams. As they kill Bolaigi, as they kill Delegiwa, they wanted to kill Inambikano as well. But a little man receive him. Eh, too much advice. The letter highlighted in yellow means you've guessed a correct letter. I'll leave this one. This children, I don't know what they've done with that phone. Anytime I have to play something or something, else, come on. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, yeah. Now we'll hear another one. Nigeria. Yeah, make that back finish. This friends. A lot of you are in prison. Oh yeah. Hey. Nobody can stop reggae. Nobody can stop reggae. Nobody. Okay, you want me to play African China at the come? Nobody can stop reggae. Nobody can stop reggae. Hey. Nobody can stop reggae. Nobody can stop it. I love this one as well. Wherever you are, a little Mary, remember us. Remember us. Nobody can stop your bad nation. What else? Yeah. Remember also, a little Mary. My bad, we were. Even one is crying for freedom. Benny. Nobody wants to die. Yeah. Hey. 
Mr. Wale, Ikuji, Mimoki, hey. To the city. I left Nigeria many years ago. I got to UK. I now realize that people, they suffer about Nigeria. Many years I've gone back. I went back to Nigeria. I realized that it's rubbish. Marada. Hmm. Mm. You like my dancing? You like my dancing? That's me. The, the, the Gaga people did that. That's what they did that. Some of you. Don't know what is freedom. You go out this morning now, but well, why do you want to get to my camera? <laughs> Stop on it. I give you knock on my head. <laughs> they say make a play African China. Don't magic kill camera me the jab off. Stop it. African <laughs> China. Oh, yeah. Be careful. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, may I play this one? May I let us back go? I think this one is uh, Mr. President. Mm. Yeah, it's not Look at it in Paris. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 This nation don't fall. My lie. Booking a bummy. I'm going to do another thing. Oh, yeah, say good morning to everybody. Say good morning. Say good morning. Say a caro. A caro. Yoruba nation. Now. Yoruba nation. Now. Yoruba nation. Now, now, now. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Who remember African, African China? Biafra is the only hope. Nigeria can never work. Even as Ali Dokubo don't talk about it, they make Tinubu and allow Biafra people to go. I am driving it. How we want to survive? Giant of Africa for a while. Eh? The nation don't fall inside well. Look at how long people have been shouting that this country, this country, uh, be careful, before social media era, you know, say before social media era, 
we have been saying this country restructure Nigeria, make Nigeria work. People are suffering. This suffering is too much. People they pray, people they shout aloud, Hakba. People they call Jesus Christ, but yet they refuse to fix Nigeria. They refuse. They refuse to fix Nigeria, and at the end of the day, people were now struggling, asking questions. And one day, some few years back, the Biafra say, "Eh, uh you know, -uh. the Kanu say, Biafra people, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, make I educate you now. Come here, forget about the structure, forget about try to restructure Nigeria, forget about that one." In Amdekano started this campaign. They educate Igbo people, small, 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 small. If they abuse Yoruba people, so make them they sleep. Yoruba is hey, the way we in Amdekano, they abuse us. We don't like them. If they abuse us too much. Where in Amdekano, they educate their own people. They tell them the history of Nigeria, where they don't know. The history that led to, you know, yesterday was the beginning of the civil war between not Nigeria and Biafra, between the British and Biafra. Kitchen. That, that, that. that yesterday, the 6th of July, Dad. 1967. Uh, see, I don't plug Dad. this thing. I don't plug them. Eh? Um, I'm really finished. Almost, almost. We are not going to be long. One hour maximum. When is exactly one hour, I stop. I've only done 37 minutes. So, Inam Dekano started educating his people about the country called Nigeria. Bit by bit, if they tell them this, tell them that, he will do, Inam Dekano go do research. He come on air, he talk. After a while, people start listening to him. The Yoruba people not listen to Inam Dekano because mm -hmm. they thought Inam Dekano move a woman jet by worker. <laughs> in Abdekano was educating their people, telling them everything they need to know about uh, Lugard, about Laura Shaw. He started telling them the Royal Niger. You know that so many people never knew so many things in Nigeria. How many people understand Nigeria before? Nobody understand the meaning of Nigeria before. Only now we all understand that Nigeria is a business center. Nobody knew that Nigeria was a business center some five years ago, eight years ago. Oh, we just know that they gave us a country. We got everybody knew that we got independent from the British, but nobody understand the cocoa way they inside until the the canoe started breaking it down, giving us everything we need to know. The some Yoruba people were listening while he was doing that. Adeika grandson was also talking, but Adeika grandson was also putting hatred. In his conversation, they say he's a nationalist. I don't know what he, what the Igbo people have done to Adeika grandson. Adeika, because you know, if you remember, Adeika grandson and uh, uh, our brother in Scotland, they were they were some they were close at some point. I'm talking about my group. Then we were just talking about Nigeria is not working. No, don't touch that thing. Hello, bye, Paddy. Don't disturb me now. Okay. Thank you. I love the iPad. I play with the iPad. So, but there was, I think I was, I was saying a lot of things as well. But I think I grandson was now putting some kind of, you know, bad hatred. As if, say, the Igbo, now them say maybe they join us together. And I, my argument has always been that if the British never join us together, there will not be this I think grandson, you know, upset with the Igbo people. The Yoruba will not be upset as well, but our people don't want to get that angle. Eventually, Inam Dekano yes. was educating, educating back to back. But at some point, there were some Yoruba that were also asking for a structure. People like the Ferry, they stand on the structure. But politicians, they're smart. All the politicians, from the Yoruba to the Igbo to the Middle Belt, when they visit, when they visit these our no. come on, we sound them, I want to be right. When they visit 
during the campaign, when they go to Afeni Ferry or Naizi, they'll tell them, when we get there, we will restructure Nigeria. Why is he hiding? That was how Me. they were deceiving yeah. them. So nobody got the restructure from any of these president. Mm. Did we get restructure? No, we didn't get restructure now. Because um, Obasanjo was there for eight years. He no give us restructure. Why? Jonathan, why? Yeah, Yaradua came. Yeah. That one died. Why? He no give us restructure. Why? Jonathan, hey, that one, PhD older. He smoke and drink as nonsense, according to what we are told. He never gave us restructure. But they had what they called national conference. Spend billions of naira, bring people from Aousa, from the South East, from the Yoruba, from the Middle West. The we are put them inside a hotel. They sit down in the conference center. They talk. They deliberate. After everything, they collect everything. They give them to president. President put them under the file. Jonathan never used it because we had a national conference to decide how to make sure that every region is not marginalized. There's no way you can live together and some people want to marginalize you and you're not going to flare up. Eventually. In Amdekano started saying, no. The best option is let everybody go. Right there and there, um, Buhari came in. And Buhari was like, Buhari hates the Southeast because of what has happened in the past during all the coup and inter-coup between, you know, the, the era. Because every every generation has their own way. During that time, a lot of shit happened. Go and look at history. Dad, yes? Um, can you have one in your bed? Well, no, you can't because I'm using all the phone. If you want to use this one. That's your iPad. No. When I finish, you use the phone. Mundo, no one is saying. Don't disturb me. Eventually, Buhari started hearing Biafra. Biafra say, eh? Biafra for where? We that we crush you guys. That's why Gowan is saying that uh, it was a little fracas. Because Gowan was the one that the British government was using to fight the war against the Biafra and the British government. Eventually, Buhari order for Python or Crocodile or whatever to go and attack in Amdekano. More than few people, probably 20, I don't have the figure, got killed in 2017. In Amdekano escaped it. How? Nobody knows. Only Elidumari protected him. In Amdekano went quiet. Nobody knew where he was until he surfaced in, I think, Jerusalem. Like, eh? Now the cannot still be alive. He started continuing his campaign and awareness, teaching people what they need to understand. May we leave that side. In 2017, as well, there was another group of Yoruba people that met in Adama Sigba in Ibadan. Why is this thing saying? Is not charged. Is it more plug in? In 2017, in Adama eventually another set of Yoruba people met. Comrade George Akiola, even Femi Fanaka, they was there. Iba Gani Adams, I think he was there as well. So many big, big Yoruba people, they went there. We, talk about if we want to restructure, we will not go for 2019 election. That was the, I think, the plan then. That if this country does not get restructure, there's no point going for another election in 2019. But some Yoruba people, because they are of their own ambition, and one ambition now, and what is the ambition? I also want to be a president. So let's allow the North to complete their tenure, to complete their term. Tino Tiba Sheton, Odewa Lomawa, so Ejeka, money supporting it. Because we could have stopped everything from 2019 if our own side of politician agree. But because they are all criminals, 
I'm, I'm, I'm reading the paper today, or the headline, Benga Daniel is saying that he doesn't want them to pay his pension anymore. Olori Buruku, do you know how much he has chopped from, from Ogun State as a governor? He's now saying, does let them not pay me my pension anymore. He doesn't need the pension because he has stolen so much of your money. The, you know, the money that is meant to fund and do different projects in Ogun State. He took it with him. One bastard. So at the end of the day, some Yoruba refused to listen. What will I do in 2019? I am and that 2019, I had the privilege. I flew to Nigeria to witness the election for the very first time after so many years I left Nigeria. It will be by Motira ticket me. So when people are now saying that uh, you know we are working for politicians, we are doing this, something I just love. It's because that is the way they've 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 manipulated your brain. You think everybody, you know, because we are we are we are we are talking, then that means one politician is behind us. Because that is the way they they taught you guys. Because everybody has been brainwashed in that system. Eventually, I went to Nigeria. But before I went to Nigeria, we have been saying that Nigeria is not working. It's not a good country anymore. People are suffering every day. They are dealing with people every day. But because Yoruba people wanted to have a Yoruba president, and when we have Yoruba president, it will change a lot of things, which is what Tinubu is doing for you now. Change uh, custom. I was speaking to somebody at a papa yesterday, and I said, Has there been any changes? Now that you have a new like custom general or Wait, CG, I... custom controller, rather, but she any changes to what near papa ah, only no, only the tariff is gone up. I said, Yes, the tariff is gone up because maybe you are not reading the news. The government needs money, so the government is trying to squeeze as many of you, but the government does not provide services for you. Okay. This program is just one hour, so I have just 13 minutes left. Because I'm busy today. And there's a lot of code as well. So, eventually, Yoruba people thought, eh, about to dip with them, can see. Can't be a motiva wally. Too bad, baby. Some people think that gov governance is like because Tinubu is there automatically. The cost of food price will come down. Ew. So echo azuk be because titinubu bati debe automatically the cost of uh, tariff of electricity will come down. Ew. Eh? You think that is the way governances work? A country that did not that did not provide ready for tinubu. You know the Buari did not provide anything ready for tinubu now. Rather, he borrowed so much money before he left. And first of all, we defend it and say, eh, we build road, we build a railway, we build this, we build that. Let Tinubu to go and find his money, how he's going to make life better for you. Today now, as at yesterday, I don't know the rate today, but as at yesterday, the Naira is still fluctuating between 995 to one pound. So this motion, I think that is the gimmick that some of the, you know, your politician told you, what finding this impression, wait. Muki Jaya Jaya. Muki Jaya Jaya. Muki So if you put it in Uba today, automatically, Muki Walata. So, but when you put it in Uba today, automatically, Nigeria will become boom! A country that did not have reserve. I'm talking about reserve for welfare to look after people. A country that did not make you to have opportunity. A country that refused to provide us with the amount of resources that we say we have in Nigeria. Do you know the amount of gas? I saw Tinobu with some French people some few days ago. They said they're going to come and start doing gas for us. The West need a lot of gas. Don't you know that the reason why we survive in this country is because we now have heater in the house. In the 70s and 60s in UK, people were dying because they don't have enough heating system in the house. But today, 
we now have central heater. So how do we run this heater if we don't have the gas to go inside it? It's gas. So they need to bring as much gas from Nigeria and wherever they can find it in African country and they start distributing it. Muki Okoya, follow you. Ebo me yemi, we were in Lagos Island. AT Mix LR. TikTok. Shout out to you all. Good morning. So this is what we have been saying to our people. Not that we hate anybody, not that we hate the politicians, but the politicians have failed you for 24 years. And the whole reason is because the system, the system that is running in Nigeria does not give access to the local government to function. Within the Yoruba territory, from Kogi to Kwara, Oshun to Lagos, Ogo State to Ondo State, we have almost 191 local government. I have it offered now. Tell me, in 24 years, which of the local government have provided for you and your family or your extended family or those that are your neighbors? So 24 years, they destroyed the local government. It was a purpose so that Nigerians, you know, I've just had a breakfast. In the morning, the first thing to keep you going is the breakfast. You can miss the lunch and then come and eat again in the evening. And that is why, you know, you know, recommendation is make sure you have the first meal of the day. But in a situation where you now look at this product and ask yourself, what is there now? Okay, fruit and not. Okay, what is there that we cannot grow in Benway State? What is there that they cannot grow in the north? What is there that cannot grow in the southeast? What is there that cannot grow in the southwest? When you look at all these materials that they've used to produce this thing now, they have it there. They say ingredient, crunchy oat, cluster with dry fruit and nuts. Ingredient, whole oat, O-A-T-S, 43%. Dry fruit, one point. Do you know that there are so many banana or get it? Chema, forget it. Who can waste that only because we cannot preserve it? And because, yeah, banana. <laughs> and because Nigeria is a is a country that is very hot, but that is not an excuse. It's because we don't have the system to support our farmers across the 36 states of the country. You need electricity to be able to now dry the banana and preserve it, and then somebody will then buy it and they will turn it into another product as well. Mango, the same thing. My wife bought some mango. By the time I wake up this morning, you know, I don't know how these are mothers, our, our women that, you know, that, I mean, I left her in the, in the living room yesterday. And by morning, she has done a lot of work, especially because she's busy today. kitchen, is So by the time I woke up this morning, the mango where my wife buy, four of them, she don't chop them, put them inside the fridge. So you, the same thing, you can buy the same mango but how do you preserve it is the question. Some of you, your fridge have stopped working for only God knows how long. Do you know it's only Nigeria that only ah, mark or printer? Yeah, that's even if they have printer in the house. Some of you don't even turn on some some of the device that you have in your house because the power surge cannot take it. I mean, what can and this was what in Namdekano started educating people until Baba Kitoye came up as well in 2019. And told the Yoruba people, forget about Nigeria, it is too late. That country is dead on arrival. Try to fix it, you will sink with it. As everybody's trying to fix Nigeria, you will sink with Nigeria like Titanic. That is what we are saying to you. So, what is wrong in that? You know, let's come back again on the round table and decide how we can separate. And that can be done. It doesn't need to have any iota of, you know, am I Bibo, am I Parawa? We come back again on the round table. All the kings come together. All the politicians come together. But your politicians don't want. They don't want that because they are living a kind of a lifestyle that they are not ready to let that lifestyle go. And they will die one day, just like Buruji Kashamu. Buruji Kashamu thought it was going to be forever. It's dead now. But don't fool no one in Don't fool any peanuts. Okay, one need 100,000. Okay, one need 100,000. Okay, one need 200,000. But the middle of the Aji Mobi died, but his children are enjoying. Go and see Aji Mobi's wife. Oh, don't be Beleleni. Go and see Aji Mobi's children on Instagram. 
Ajimobi destroy the local government just like any other governor as well are doing right now. So, and you are now there telling me that I don't know what I'm talking about. I am 6,000 kilometers away. I have had my breakfast. My children have access to better education. They have good access to health care. They have welfare. If any of your family is telling you that your children don't get paid here, they get paid. It does not matter how small. Every child in UK gets what they call child benefits. And then other children get extra depending on their circumstances, especially if they have other issues surrounding their family. Where are there still some people that have to go out there and work and pay taxes. Do you know how many people are living in Nigeria that are non-Nigerians and they are not paying tax? This country is there. It's not going to grow. Forget about Dinobu is there. Forget about anybody is there. It is too late to rectify the damage in Nigeria. But a lot of you, your head, it don't block. You think Nigeria is about Davido. You think Nigeria is about Ashake. You think Nigeria is about Tiwa Savage. You think Nigeria is about... Uh, no! Nigeria is far beyond that. I was asking somebody in a papa yesterday. That's okay. They've now changed your CG. Now, Yoruba man. Is there any changes? The guy told me no. Because this impression, okay, uh, Tinubu will be there and things will start becoming cheap in Nigeria. You are crazy. The cost of living is still going up. Some of you don't even have a proper accommodation anyway. Somebody sent me a video, uh, you know, yesterday. I can't show you. The guy, oh, yeah, but Nita. But she was, Kote Nudie. Go check the camera, go on by. Oh, there was a Kote Ebe. You know, you have to look at it. That's why some of you will die before you are 50 years old. According to the WHO, World Health Organization, Nigerians will not survive 60 years old. I didn't say so. That is the World Health Organization. Femi Akimumi, additional, the African development president said, it will take 300 years before we can even say we have a standard living in Nigeria. Is that what? That means some of us, every one of us are dead. So why then are we trying to pretend as if, you know, we can fix this nonsense country? Do you know that I was talking about Latvia? Latvia. See, Latvia, Laulano. Let me go to OEC. You know that our data. Do you know that OEC, under the import to Nigeria, countries that are supplying us with, you ask yourself, how many of these are in this country, Seth? Is because they have only stable on farming, mechanized farming. That is why they can produce enough wheat to go around the world. Ukraine, Russia, all those regions. And because they have a very good soil, their weather, I mean, their soil is very good. That's why they can grow the, the large amount of wheat that the world needs. The reason why we have even having problem with bread in UK, the cost of bread, because all those things are coming from there. And the West is very smart. I live in UK. They started moving all the jobs to China, move it to India, move it to Pakistan, because they don't want to pay the cost of labor in this country. This country used to be an industrialized country before I got here in the 60s, using Nigeria money, resources to fund it. UK was an industrialist country. That's why we have Liverpool. We have all this Manchester. All those areas now, you know, has been converted to churches. All those big, big warehouses. Why? Because they moved the production to China. And some of you think that when we are talking, you think we are just talking because we just want to talk. Oh, because we, I don't have a job to do. No, I, I have a job. My job is a freelance journalist. And I'm operating from home. If I feel like going out to re, you know to do a program, I'll go outside. I have also worked for over two decades. So I am not the one going to suffer. I'm going to be sitting down, be watching Today and Not, and be Gist Lover, and Daily Momodu, and then let them be putting picture, and then you are, you are killing yourself. We don't all have to be rich, but you should be able to live a standard life. I am not rich. I can't show you my house more than this. I am not rich, but I am better. As long as I don't go and look for what I don't have. Driving is expensive in this country. I stopped driving three years ago. I have a full driver license with no point. 12. No single point. 
I refuse to drive because the job I have to do doesn't entail driving. When I needed a vehicle, I knew I was using it for transportation and logistics. In terms of any, how can you be 40 years old? You are still running under the politician. Politicians are meant to serve you people, but they are not doing so. What they are doing is they are holding you backwards and backwards and backwards. When Buari was there, eight months, they closed the university. Some of you got pregnant. So when I look at the import to Nigeria, the importation, in 2021, and then I go under the wheat. Let's look at our import. So in 2021, Nigeria import a total value of $61.6 billion worth of produce. Different thing from Okada to Keke Marua to different things that you can think of. Because why? We don't produce anything. When we have the money to bring industry like Ajakuta, we never did. We were look, we were behaving as if we are too rich, and eventually it has catch up on us now. When Nigeria had the money, they did not invest it. Babangida was stealing it. They gave to Abiola, they gave now to Dangote, they gave to Otedola, to Nele Melu. They gave to Alakija. How, how can people be even controlling our oil well in a country that has millions of people? And then they gave oil well to people as if it's like, I don't even understand. And then they'll say, I'm a billionaire. Everybody's doing oil and gas. Oil and gas. I'm doing oil and gas. What do you do? Oil and gas. Using New Jersey Nigerian money to become billionaire. Ibrahim Jimo. Every single Nigerian that has seen their businessman, they've all used either a proxy from somebody. Go and look at the, the report from Gazette uh, two days ago now. 7,000 debtors, 7,000 debtors are owing 5.2 trillion. I don't think some of you understand the breakdown of all this money. <coughs> are you expecting a functioning hospital? That's why in Akere Dolu is bedridden in Germany because there's no hospital to treat him in Ondo State. And he's meant to be a governor in Yoruba land in Ondo State. He has Germany for medical treatment. So those of you that don't have the same access, what happened? You go to church and pray and look for holy water, mad people all over the place. We imported, let me tell you some of what we import, you know, from our import in Nigeria in 2021, according to the data. Remember? Jesus. Jesus. Okay. The first one. Okay. That is how things is meant to be. You see? What's the building? Pasu. And this is what we are saying to our people. Delivery Dad. is another big business Dad. around the world. She was on con. She was on con. Let me A country, Muki, Alaja. Salam alaikum, mommy. I'm up with Muki Bubay. Ain't Yawa, ain't Alaji, ain't Alaja. I shop a local Jimmy Lai. I'm a Baba Laya Mafuale Loni. And those that are also non-Muslim, may God forgive those that have died. Let me tell you some of the imports to Nigeria. How can we be importing everything when we have, you know, you know, vibrant youth? How can you be wake? The guy that came and dropped this now, he has a lot of delivery to do. He has a target. You, you, you wake up, you, you, are, you go and be driving Okada. You wake up, you go and line up in front of politician's house. If all the road network was good, people should be able to take Bye. delivery from Lagos and they have a timing that will get to Southeast and they will rest along the line in different service area. And they can return back about another two days. That's if they're taking the large container 
the truck. Is that not what people are doing in America? I have a brother, you know, I don't even know whether he's still with us or probably has follow, you know, this Onitiri woman bombastard. What he drives is a, you know, truck for Amazon. He showed me in that truck alone, and he also has an attachment. I think it's about almost uh, be a $1 million worth of goods. It goes long journey. Mokimomi wa Mojade Sonya. Oba Sonja was the one who gave Alakija oil block. I, can, I mean, that is even so upsetting. And they say they are low people. So you lose, you see somebody like Ote Dollar, and then he, I, I, I mean, my mom doesn't even want me to be talking about the daughter because she's not our problem. You now see their daughter, they travel around, they take pictures. Yes, we, no, some people will be rich from the, from the, from the, from the, from the, from the bottom row. But don't go and use Nigerian oil wealth and tell us you're a billionaire. Is that not what Chief Tola Dini said? Give, give uh, Dangote money, shop the mouth, give her, shop the mouth, give her this, give that. And today now everybody will say, hey, we are billionaire. We are millionaire. Yes, we want people to work hard, set up, you know, apps, do this, you know, innovation. And then when you become him, you know, nobody can go and say now, that, okay, why, why are we not saying that uh, the person we own Facebook? Why we know the talk say the person we own Facebook? You know, you get oil access or crude oil block or whatever from America. Is that not what he has done yesterday? He has now launched another app competing with, um, you know, with Twitter called Thread. I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if and then the same thing goes with our country and so forth. She, Eruque, Eruque, Ogiri Palefeban. I was listening to um, uh, Yedara yesterday. Mama, we are ton ton ti Yedara and play audio one. It's a bunny yanti. When we first started, we go on a manque. Hey, Mama, you go on a day. I say we go on to buy. You jack by jack by hello. I don't think so much. So you think that uh, you know this dupe will come and give you a country and then she will be running the country on her own. She will form her own economy on her own. I don't. I don't even understand. We go in yet to America. A girl jacket a bad nigga tefe she. We go. We go here. I was just laughing. We that voice. Yeah, I'm up. I send five thousand. Can't see what anybody know. One bastard. They don't. People don't even understand how you know how a government function. Hey, but I'm going government. Do you know what is a government? So somebody will just come and run a government on behalf of the Yoruba people from, from, from a hidden place. Say, do the government is here. Do you know what is a government? Say, you know what is a government? government is here. Hey, do you know government Running a government. If you pay okay, Kirin, running a government. Fire truck. I don't think some of you understand that. Eric, with government is just like uh, you know something that you can just say, I'm a bere jobawa. I'm a bere jobawa. Eh? I'm a bere jobawa. I'm a bere joba be ye. I'm a bere joba be ye. I'm a bere government. In Jem Mantong when government, Mukinjari, Salam Aliku Mami, Ola Sumbo. Miss Good Moke Moke Lani Lamina Baba Mi Moses Olani Ramoki in German talk when the government shall Tinubu got to your president to go say don't control Bubu Nigeria Kole Kole Ojo Le Ribubu Ton Lani Nu Nigeria Nyakwani Ama Bere Joba Dili Ana Won Ya Jagba Jagba I better come on Yan at any understanding. Is years old. So let's go back again to the data. In 2021, Nigeria imports Walile. The basic things, kinemo television, basic, 
Let me see. Yeah, we'll fire one. Okay, let's even look at this. Because we use a lot of cello tape in this house. This is a cello tape. This is a crayon. A crayon, I'm aquile. And this is a a toy car. If Ajakuta was working, we should have been producing a toy car like this and export it to, even if it's not Europe, at least to African countries. When Ajakuta is not working. So where are they going to be phantoming all that? Dad, to be, eh? One minute. Three things. And even if we cannot do all these things, then let's focus on one thing, famine. Famine can give us Amauche, good morning, all the way in Italy. Famine alone would have given us everything that we need. Everything. Famine Nikon. Because in, in famine, it has a lot of sector underneath. Sector to be in famine, but in a country where you don't have 24 hours of electricity, how do you preserve the poultry that you business you want to do? That means you have to keep. Do you know that poultry needs electricity? Electricity in the poultry does not need to be switched off. A 50 emergency power. Oma to Jometa, Baba. Baba me, John Obundele, Alaba. Okay, sorry. Wale Ikuji, Mr. Lori Burukuni Dupe. She's fond of saying that. Tabati Dele, Liri, Amama Fawon, Yolowo, Amama Shedis. Awon your mother with government. You probably don't know what is government. A Congo government. Let's go straight and look into another one hour I wanted to do. Thank you, Amauche. So, when we talk about import, these are produce that was delivered and dumped to Nigeria in 2021. Refined petroleum. That got a lot. So they, they move our crude oil out of Nigeria. They travel it miles and miles away from Nigeria. When we have four refinery that they deliberately make not to work. Baba, Mr. Pela, tell them, or do me, or do me, one is your own, you know, Baba, I don't know, Bundeli. I want Latin in the 80s, and Baba is up in Nigeria, or she said. At in the 80s, la want to repay Nigeria or Nigeria show. Refined petroleum. Let me tell you the countries that are not refined. How many people know the country that your, your, your petrol is being refined? Let's share the message with you this morning. So let me click on. Let what I'm gonna do first. Let me read all the all the things I can pick up from here. So petroleum refined 18.3 percent. That is about 11 billion dollars 11 billion dollars also broadcasting equipment broadcasting equipment yeah. what is broadcasting equipment in a microphone whatever that you can think of in the broadcasting sector people that do media uh, if not just media you know broadcasting oh. is 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 uh, is got to do with a lot of things we are not producing anything Keyboard, we know they produce, and in Nigeria they go church, they go sing, sing, sing. Do you know that all those equipment that they use in your church, they have to import it to Nigeria? Is that not crazy? Like mommy David, I go get good morning. Triple A D R S. I'm calling you. If I lost the church, they see Iluni Bagaga, Gigi, Gagaga. Keyboard, piano, this, you know, electric guitar. We are not producing it, but we are the one using it. Our land lo top you. Be church is shallow, ni moshala shallow. So we are now bringing a value worth of nine hundred and thirty-four million dollars worth of these produce that we are not producing, or these materials.
or this broadcasting equipment at his called here. And each morning, Oyaki, every single one of you, good morning to you, my brother, uh, Henry, Chikuzi. Every day, Nigerians should be going to factory and produce as simple as a glass frame. Then I will then go to my optician and my optician will now decide the kind of lens that they will put inside. But we are not producing even the frame. Do you know that this frame is part of what should be coming out from Ajakuta? I don't think some of you understand the danger we are in. And you think Tinubu will resolve this in, in the four years of Tinubu? Are you kidding me? Also, telephone. We don't produce telephone in Nigeria. And we are the one that import almost 929 million dollar worth of telephone from whether the Ghana Ghana or mobile phone, whether in a second hand or brand new. So they keep producing in some other country and they're bringing it to Nigeria. They're living in denial. And we are saying that, look, the system is no longer as it is. Let us break it down to smaller units. And I'll now give us why we should break it down to smaller uh, units. I, I want to tell you the countries where the petroleum is coming from. Quickly. These are countries that we never want Nigeria to break. Be careful. Where is it? I'll get it for you. No, no. Do you see that's your own glasses. You don't need it. You can't fit it. Disturb me, Larry. Sit down there. We go much less. She can't disturb me. We Larry Aro. And Larry Akiba. We go equipment and lawyer. It's coming from outside the. And we are saying to you that this is not working. Let us stop it now. Stop it for the benefit of every one of us. They say, yeah, nah, shut up. You cannot sit in London and be talking like that because you're in London. Mad people over the place. You will all suffer. I am 6,000 kilometers away. Before I can suffer, it, that means it would have been a little bit before maybe I come to Nigeria. And I don't have to come to Nigeria. I don't have anything to come and pick up in Nigeria. For 15 years, I could not visit Nigeria. So what's the difference? 15 good years. Maybe you didn't know that before. 15 years, I was locked in this country. Not even travel out. So what do I want? To, well, the world is so beautiful. So many countries I never visit. Now Nigeria, go to dream of. Nigeria, where you they come, you go to pray. Say, may they not kidnap you. May they not kill you before you come back. May they not put voodoo inside your food. May they not thief yourself. You can't trust anybody. Is that the country you want to say you want to go to? When there's so many beautiful countries around the world. I still want to go to Australia. I'm dreaming of going to Australia. And see what that, you know, that part of the world, what it looks like. New Zealand, that is where the sun rises up and the sun goes down. Say so you come to Nigeria. Which Nigeria is sure? When there's so many other beautiful places around the world that me I never visit. Now Nigeria I go to dream of. 15 years, I, I was not in Nigeria. So if I don't come to Nigeria anytime soon, I don't miss anything. Let's go further. I want to give you the names of the countries. I want to give you the name of the countries that your crude oil end up for refinery or for refine. They remove the crude oil from Niger Delta. They refuse to put refinery in that area. So they will now, they will, I mean, it doesn't even make sense. So something that is below the ground for people where they, not, is that not the reason why they killed uh, Ken Sarowiwa? Yes, they must release him on the car now. Is that not why they're killing uh, uh, Ken Sarwiwa? 
Kesarua was killed by a butcher because he was an environmental activist. Why not they destroy this place? The people will not enjoy. You destroy the environment. And they will now move the crude oil. Write it down. The country where they take your crude oil to. Just write it down, okay? Write it down. The first country that is taking the bigger share of our crude oil is called Netherlands. Netherlands is taking 32.1% of what is brought back to Nigeria after they've refined it. And that is to the tune of 3.62 billion. That is why all these oil markets won't die because the government have been subsidizing them for a very long time. Okay, if the refinery was working, who, who should we be subsidizing? If all the three or four major refineries that we have in Nigeria, Toba Eko one, she said, who are we going to subsidize? Who are we going to subsidize? Marketers, why must we subsidize them when it is already produced and refined in Nigeria? But because everybody knows the way around, tiff tiff, you know, even some doesn't bring anything, but they still get paid. Hey, the ship just landed. Red. And the ticket, and everybody get paid, and they become billionaire, and they become billionaire, and they buy private jet, and they invite them to wedding, they invite them to party, they become philanthropists. No, if there are still some Oyibo people, I've visited, I've done a lot of protests where Oyibo people are talking about cancer. They know cancer, we were so much in this, especially those that are campaigning for. Um, you know, there was still disruption of them at the Wimbledon. They call them oil something. They're always protesting daily. All those people know Kensariwa very well. So Netherlands, the next country is Belgium, 15.8%. So we import petrol from Belgium to the tune of 1.7 billion. So do you know that when we stop sending that crude oil to them, which is the resource, the the the, the, uh, the the material? All their refinery will get dry, only if they are getting from another country. And that is why Dangote wanted to take part of the share. He quickly went to build his own refinery, because if Dangote is smart, he knows that if you are sending crude oil to Netherlands and Belgium, I might as well do the same thing here. And it doesn't need to travel far. All they have to now do is uh, run a pipe. From They can run a pipe all the way from Niger Delta straight into Dangote Refinery and feed in. The next country is called Norway. Norway also is a country where we import crude oil from to the value of $1.2 billion. They abuse me, Umugo. They abuse me saying I mean the problem of Yoruba nation. I mean the problem of Nigeria. The people where they enjoy life. Only God knows how many people have become billionaire. We're talking about dollar. If one marketer has his way around with any of this country, even if they pay him three million dollars, three million dollars about three point something billion naira, they become a billionaire. $3 million today we automatically give you equivalent about $3 billion naira, naira. So you become a billionaire. And when you become a billionaire, the question you should ask yourself then is, you, that you are trying to save Nigeria, what is your own benefit from that? Oh, okay, when they bring it down, you'll be the truck driver, you'll be the admiral on the road. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You'll be collecting peanuts from the truck driver they have wasted this generation like uh you know Henry Chigose is saying because if I know my way around as a marketer and I can get the crude oil from Belgium back to Nigeria on one truck or one vessel do you know what that, that means I become a billionaire automatically and that's why these people don't want Nigeria to break because that is how they are living life. The next country, United Kingdom, the one we are inside. 
So United Kingdom also, we import $760 million worth of crude oil or petrol back to Nigeria. $760 million. So if I can get 1% from that $760 million, I become a millionaire in dollars straight away. This is why the marketers are dying. They are fighting back to back for so long to make sure that Nigeria continues to import from outside the country. Because all you need to do is just know who is who. Because all these importers, they have the network and connection to the dealer in UK that is producing the crude oil and then return it back to Nigeria. So let me give you an example. If I can get a vessel, I don't need to have the vessel. I'll just rent it. As long as I can talk to the NNPC, Mukia Mobalaja Abdullah, Juma Barika, Tibale, Tibale, if I can talk to the NNPC and say, look, come, uh, Director General, I need just one vessel full of crude oil. They will then ask me, do I have a country that can refine it for me? I'll say yes. I might not want to talk to the UK because UK is a bit... I will then go to, you know, Italy. Italy as well is helping us to refine our crude oil. And they bring it back to the value of 417 million. So go and look at Bellestoni, the one that died. He left 100 million euro for his wife that have been together for 13 years. Italy is one of the corrupt countries in the world that also had issue when it comes to our crude oil in Nigeria. You know, there was a lot of court cases in Italy. Nigerians, you don't know what is happening around the world. You can sue NG. You just sleep and wake up. Sleep and wake up and pray to God. Sleep and wake up. While the world knows how to move money out of Nigeria. So let me say I now managed to move one vessel loaded loaded with uh, with the crude oil straight to Italy for them to help me to refine do you know that I become a millionaire that is why somebody like Otedola is rich that is why those guys are rich that is why they can buy Lamborghini they can buy Ferrari because the money with them is huge but you are there abusing us Pointing finger at Igbo, as if Igbo is the one. Say Igbo is no. The, have you ever heard that Igbo is involved in the oil and gas in Nigeria? Do you have any idea that he's in oil and gas? No, he's not. He's just a businessman, importing and exporting, paying taxes to the government, and then saying that look, you know, our people are being killed, and he stood out. The government locked his account. They realized that, wow, he has a lot of money in his account, but they couldn't trace it to any dirty money. Whereas then we have Abba Kiari has now been released on a 50 million Naira bill. Don't you know that that's the end of the case? Now that they've granted him bail condition. I pity the youth trying to fix Nigeria. You are burning your energy on Twitter. When you should be burning your energy to the dissolution of Nigeria so that our lives can be better. You are wasting your time with APC and PDP and Peter B. And even Shawore, you're wasting your energy. Also, we go all the way to France. About $112 million of petrol is brought from France. Do you know that? That alone is even upsetting to me because there's no way you can travel anymore now using Air France if you don't have a Shanghai visa. It's crazy. And this is a country that we are buying crude oil from. Whether we are buying it or they are helping us to refine, automatically, the Nigerian government should be saying to any of this country that, especially a country like France, how can France say, be, as a Nigerian, if I, wanted to, if I want to travel to Nigeria now, Mumando Air France, it's crazy. I mean, how, what kind of life are we living, living, sir? What which kind of life will they live, sir? I don't even understand. 
I know seven days at home is still going on. If they burn anybody, well, go outside and let Andy Uba kill you with his men that is put on the street. And then they are saying it's Simon Ekba. Yeah, Italian own Ajib. If I want to travel to Nigeria this morning and I want to use Air France, they will now be asking me, Do I? I'm not going inside Paris, so I'm not going into French country. I am just using their airline. They will now tell me I have to go and get Shanghai. I mean, if you have a British passport, there's no problem. But what do you think everybody outside Nigeria has uh, this nationality passport? No, some people have just got indefinite stay. Some people have just got access to stay in those countries. Benny, we, everything must scatter everywhere. Because if it doesn't scatter, we are not going anywhere. We are just going to be, you know, looking at all these countries, enjoying our wealth. How can French or France tell me that if I want to go to Nigeria, I have to now have a Shanghai visa? before? Don't you know that that alone is an extra revenue for them? Even if the visa is 50 pounds. Multiply 50 pounds by 100,000 Nigerians that are going to travel through that route a year. You are not going to France. You are just passing by and you have to go and buy their visa. It doesn't make sense. But people that have British passport, American passport, and they are in love in Nigeria and they can travel through that route. Do you know that me now, I have to go through a long route, either through Morocco or uh, Dubai. And Dubai first get to Emirates. They stand there. They stay there for two hours connecting flight. Almost time, Nigerians are using Turkish airline. So for every time you leave London, and if you're going to go direct with BA, it's expensive. If you're going to go with Virgin, it's expensive. I mean, wh which kind of life would they live, say, and, and people seem not to get this message. So now I want to go to Nigeria. I will now be shuffling for cheap ticket. If Nigeria has its own airline, why should we be shuffling for cheap ticket? And all these tickets, all this uh, you know, airline, they are smart. I cite you, my brother, are they only plenty? And this is why we are saying to all these youth, the fight to save Nigeria is too late. Leave that alone. Let's talk about another country quickly. Greece. Do you know that Greece is that not Cyprus? Do you know that that's where the pastor took those young boys, those two boys? My wife was even upset with them that, you know, if they can be dancing in Nigeria, they should dance as well in Cyprus. And I think at some point later on, we saw them in a the club, they are dancing, you know, survivor to the fittest. Do you know that, do you know that Nigeria brings petrol from Greece? So Grammys Bay, Greece has a small refinery that we take it down there. They help us refine it and they bring it back to Nigeria to the tune of 60 million. So if I get 1% from that value, I become a millionaire in dollars. I, I that is why there's that is why they are they are big man froster. But you don't see them because they are looking after the they are, they are running after. I mean, we don't condone crime. They are running after the Yahoo boys, where the people that are moving money are in the oil industry and the gas industry. So a lot of you are there trying to survive you you want you know you want to scam somebody with a uh, small small money but the real big player are running after the big oil that is why they they can kill you automatically because they have the money to do so if you block their way they will send as a sin to kill you out straight away but we let him also if i was saying it in nigeria they will take me out because this is an exposition that countries are bringing in the oil but there are some middlemen that is involved but you are there. You are pointing finger at Igbowu, Babaki Toye, Simon Epa, Inandekanu. I pity you in your life. Let's move to another country. Spain. Spain that hates her so much. We are also bringing 90 million worth of petrol from Spain. Malaysia. Malaysia as well. Romania. Romania, we are bringing petrol that is refined from Romania into Nigeria. Romania, 
But these are countries that have the industry, they have the they have the capacity to take it, and they need a lot of crude oil to convert to petrol. If not, their machine will go dry. You can see why breaking Nigeria is not going to be an easy task. All these countries I've mentioned, even America, we are bringing about 1.75 percent to the value of 197 million of refined petrol. Then we need petrol and by 197 million of that Latin US. And this is why they don't want Nigeria to break. Because the moment Nigeria break, okay, even if we are going to still refine from there, it will be on a new terms and condition. It will not be on the old terms anymore. But it seems some people don't understand that. Uh, Bobby Benson said, I checked flights same date from Frankfurt to Lagos. It's going to cost 1,290 euro. While from Frankfurt to New York cost 310 euro to and fro. Lastly, same cost from Frankfurt to Kutonu cost 608. Why? Then it's okay. Maybe I should read that again. According to uh, Bobby Bobby Benson, he said, "I check a flight same date from Frankfurt to Lagos is going to cost him one thousand two hundred and ninety euro, but from Frankfurt to New York is going to cost three hundred and ten euro to and fro, and also to the same cost from Frankfurt to Benin Republic is six hundred and thirty-eight." Tala shegongo no. Why do we be the one to be facing the brunch and those that are criminals are going on their jet and if they're not going on their jet, you will see them in the, in the business class, in the first class, and they'll be taking picture, they'll put it on their Instagram and then generally we say, hey, hey, hey. Daddy, I have a I, have a I don't even know what to, how to explain it again. I don't know. Let's take the last country. Chinese Taipei, we bring petrol from Chinese Taipei to the tune of $219 million. That's 1.94%. Also, we bring from Portugal. Even as small as it is, we are bringing from Portugal. And, but we, Nigerians don't know all this, they know. Because Shewan Kimbadoe is not going to give you this breakdown. He's my friend. I know him very well. Go to go and see Shewan Kimbadoe after his program, 15,000 views, and they'll be fighting each other there. We are going to save Nigeria. The last program he did yesterday, he had 15,000 views. Politics today. That is what you have been watching. Shewan Kimbadoe, you can see he's becoming bigger. Otin Tobi, Chobi. He's doing very well. Yeah. You go and be sitting there and be watching him when we are talking about the real problem of Nigeria here. Shewan Kibaloye is just analyzing Nigeria that he will analyze until he gets old. But he will be doing very well. Portugal. $2.1 million of petrol is coming from Portugal. Let's go to Saudi Arabia. We also bring from Saudi Arabia from Saudi Arabia, we bring $110 million worth of petrol. You see Yoruba people, they're just coming back from Mecca. I see them on the flight. They take picture. They come back now in a country there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no welfare, there's no education. But they've gone to spend four, four million naira to go to Saudi Arabia for Hajj. Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Is gone, mommy, or Mojia, this one, yeah. Nigeria is a stepping stone for European country. And they don't value us as much as you don't know. Because if they value us, France should not even allow us to travel through their country and say we should go and buy a Shanghai visa. I didn't know that until I wanted to travel when i was coming to nigeria and they say hey, you have to and i'm thinking ah. 
Is this normal? Let's go to India. Indian is also giving us 8.7% of petrol. Import, oh, these are import, something that they bring from their country to Nigeria because we don't have a refinery system that is working. And all these that they say they are bringing, do you know that the consumption that Nigerians are drinking is not to the value of what they are telling us? Normally, they say Nigeria are consuming about, I'm just quote and unquote, 60 million liters. But when you look at it, Nigerians are not consuming more than 30 million. So where is the remaining 30 million? It goes to Kutonu, it goes to Ghana, it goes to Benin Republic, it goes to Cote d'Ivoire, it goes all over other African countries, but it is Nigeria that is funding it. <laughs> so even South Korea, we are bringing petrol from South Korea. I'll, I'll put the link out there. It's called OEC.world. OEC.world. So, $260 million of petrol we bring from South Korea. We're going to end this program. I've done more than my timing already. Yeah, it's almost two hours now. I need to stop it now. Talking. We also bring $183 million worth of petrol from Turkey. That's 1.62%. Continue to abuse me while those countries are helping their citizens. Because all this country that I'm talking about, it is their citizen that works in this industry that produce the petrol and they put it on the sea in a vessel and they drive it the sea for 14 days and they dock it there and they put it to Nigeria to use. And maybe the rest, they just take it to other African countries. Now, let's talk about the next country. There's a country also called United Arab Emirates. A lot of Nigerians are there. They refuse to, re to renew their, their, their stay. But Nigeria buys $39.3 million worth of petrol from United Arab Emirates called UAE. Unbelievable. Other Asian countries. They just put that at 2.3 million. Côte d'Ivoire. So we even bring petrol from Côte d'Ivoire. Interesting. 17 million dollars worth of petrol we bring from Côte d'Ivoire. I don't understand. Interesting. Yes. Even Algeria. We bring petrol from Algeria to the value of $3.64 million. I saw some. Niger, eh? We bring petrol from Niger to the tune of $4.2 million. That one, Afrodo. Mm. Oh, wow. I saw South, Af yeah, South Africa. Angola. I know Angola has a lot of petrol. Huh? We are bringing 17.9 million. This is the reason why Dangote wants to capture his own as well. In one of his jets, are Angola in Nigeria. in Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire. That is why Dangote has gone to, you know, bring this refinery project. They've destroyed Nigeria. I saw South Africa now. South Africa, 1.6 million is what we are bringing from South Africa. So when we now look at all these, before we go, I'll just talk briefly on the wheat. Importation of wheat to Nigeria. And you will cry for your country you call Nigeria. That country that is dead and gone. But Nigerians do not want to accept. Maybe this acceptance is going to make them cry. I don't know. Maybe this acceptance that Nigeria is not working. I don't know why Nigerians do not want to accept that Nigeria is dead, gone, gone. So I'm going to look again at my imports to Nigeria. Uh, no. Imports on the wheat. So I'm going to talk about the wheat quickly because i got to go now. So we actually bring in a total of 5.38% of wheat 
into Nigeria, a market value, a market value of 3.32 billion US dollars. This is not million, billion. Wheat, 